Hi guys, um, my name is Sanjay Gupta. I'm a consultant cardiologist in York and um, today I wanted to do a little video on the subject of ectopic heartbeats and in particular the subject of ectopic heartbeats and how they can cause people to feel uh, breathless. So someone who was watching me on my YouTube channel uh, wrote to me and said, um, you know, when I get my ectopic heartbeats, I get this sensation that I'm getting a flutter or I'm getting a misbeat followed by a thud. But what is really worrying me is that for a few milliseconds, I feel like I can't breathe. I feel like I'm gasping for breath. Um, I, feel, um, I feel this air hunger. And also, uh, I often have to cough um, as soon after, and that makes me feel a bit better. So why does that happen? And I thought I'd do a little video to try and explain this, okay? And it's all really very much about trying to understand the, the um, relationship between the heart and lungs when it comes to how the heart fills with blood and how the heart pumps blood out, all right? So the normal way, uh, the left ventricle uh, is the main pumping chamber of the heart, okay? So what happens is the left ventricle contracts and pumps blood out, all right, um, into the body. Now, then the left ventricle starts relaxing, okay? And as it relaxes, blood will come from the lungs and fill into the left ventricle, all right? So the blood, so the left ventricle, the pressure is very low because it's beginning to relax. The valve, which is called the mitral valve over here, will open up because the pressure here is lower. Uh, and so the mitral valve opens up and blood just gets sucked in from the lungs into the, into the left ventricle. That's a normal thing. Now imagine what would happen if you have an ectopic beat. The heart is just pumped and it's beginning to relax, but suddenly the ectopic beat comes in and the heart has to uh, contract again. So as it's contracting, suddenly the mitral valve, which is open, allowing all this blood to come, will close because the pressure in the left ventricle has suddenly gone up because it's beginning to contract. So the mitral valve suddenly abruptly closes which means that the blood coming from the lungs can't get in anymore because this valve is closed, which means that there's a buildup of blood in the lungs transiently. And when there is a buildup of blood in the lungs, it increases the pressure in the lungs. And when that happens, uh, <clears throat> people feel that they can't breathe. You know, they suddenly get breathless. So you get this transient breathlessness because the pressure in the lungs has gone up. Now, what can sometimes happen is if the pressure goes up excessively, what it can do is you can get a little bit of leaking of blood into the lungs as fluid. And when that happens, that irritates the lung uh, tissue. So that little bit of fluid can irritate the lung tissue. And that's why people suddenly feel this urge to cough because that irritation causes them to cough and they cough and suddenly they feel better. And the reason they feel better is one, they've gotten rid of the fluid. But secondly, by that time, the ectopic is gone and the heart has started relaxing again. So all the blood is cleared from the lungs back into the heart. And that is why they feel better. So, um, so that is the mechanism. Now, in a more simplistic sense, if you wanted to understand it, think of your um, blood as a series of cars. Okay, And the, the blood is going from the right heart. This series of cars drives into the lungs where it stands and collects uh, oxygen and then it just goes straight into the left heart all right but if uh, there is an ectopic that's almost like saying the left heart is saying well no you can't come in and suddenly there's this build-up of all these carbs in the lungs uh, which is causing which causes an increased amount of pressure in the lungs that causes the breathlessness and as soon as the lung starts, as soon as the left heart starts relaxing after the ectopics, the pressure is relieved, and therefore the cars can then go and maintain their kind of streamlined sort of um, um, <clears throat> passage, and and that is the mechanism by which people get breathless. So it's not dangerous. It's not something that is. Um, like having lots of fluid in the lungs like you hear a lot of people. It's a very transient thing, uh, but it explains why some people feel breathless and it also explains why some people find that they need to cough at that time. Um, I'd be really interested in finding out from you if you have had these symptoms uh, because it would be good to understand your uh, exactly how you feel when that happens. So if you've had these symptoms, please drop me a line. Let me know what happens, uh, what works for you, etc. But this is this is the mechanism to my mind, 
uh, by which um, people who get ectopics can sometimes complain of this gasping for breath or air hunger. All right. Um, so I hope you found this video useful. Uh, uh, as always, I'm very grateful for all the kind words, all the appreciation you give me. It empowers me no end. Uh, so I'm always very, very grateful to hear from you. And I do try and reply, but it's, my work is very busy these days. So if I haven't replied, I apologize, but I will. I will. I'll try and take some time off and answer all your questions. Um, uh, if you found this video helpful, please consider sharing it. Please consider... Um, telling your friends about it. Uh, thank you so much and all the best. Oh, by the way, uh, my website is www.yourcardiology.co.uk. My um, Gmail, uh, my sorry, my email address is yourcardiology at gmail.com. And my Facebook page can also be accessed by typing in yourcardiology at gmail.com. And I'm also on Twitter now uh, as yourcardiology. All right. Thank you so much. All the best.